Good evening, I'm Natalie Wilson in for Libby Allison. And I'm Steve Rappaport. We begin tonight with the Charlottesville newspaper taking heat for publishing a racist rant. That heat came today in the form of a protest outside the offices of Seville Weekly. NBC 29's Marcella Robertson is live in our Charlottesville newsroom with our top story details. Good evening, Marcella. Good evening, Steve. Well, a profane rant published in last week's paper has many outraged, and that comment has sparked a conversation much bigger about race in Charlottesville. Dozens of protesters stood outside of the Seville Weekly's office Monday. What do we do? Stand up like that! Upset about a statement that appeared in the rant, a section of the paper that publishes anonymous messages it receives. I, I feel like they have crossed the line from free speech into hatred. The profane post addresses black people, said to be looking for free food at Charlottesville restaurants, an incident that has sparked a much bigger conversation about race in the city. Charlottesville has issues. It is not alone. Uh, but Charlottesville likes to hide behind its issues and uh, play nice and have another mint julep. The racial issue is really being ignored. Nobody wants to talk about it. And I think we do have a huge issue and that's just one example of it. This issue joins the ongoing conversations about racial disparities in the juvenile justice system in the city and why they exist. And follows the George Zimmerman verdict that once again put race in the spotlight. That verdict brought people out to last week's city council meeting. I could be the next Trayvon Martin. Calling for action to make sure this never happens in Charlottesville. The week of the Trayvon Martin Zimmerman verdict to release that is in disgustingly poor taste. And even with the bigger issue of race looming, some say a simple solution is to take away the platform for these hateful comments. This is a pattern of the rant. It gives a platform for racists and queerphobic people, sexists, rape culture, ableism, all of it to flourish anonymously. Now the Seville Weekly posted a statement on its website today that will run in this week's edition of the paper. It cites an editorial mistake in publishing and apologizes for any hurt that this rant may have caused. You can read that full statement on our website at NBC29.com. Marcella Robertson live in our Charlottesville newsroom tonight.